The governor has made it very clear gun violence is a big priority for him this legislative session. In fact, he announced a number of proposals at the Capitol, and today we are taking a closer look at them. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live in the Brass City tonight, and Dennis, he's also proposing changes to the state budget to actually make this happen. Yes, Aaron, $64 million in adjustments, all of that going toward public safety. Part of that aiming to help police departments like Waterbury's. Anti-violence advocates have been praising these proposals. Meanwhile, one group has been vocal in their opposition. You're not tough on crime if you're weak on guns. The governor trying to show he isn't weak, promising to introduce nine proposals when the legislative session starts Wednesday. They include reestablishing a state gun tracing task force, expanding bans on assault weapons and ghost guns, and requiring all guns to be sold with a trigger lock. We have more legal guns, we have more illegal guns. As your dick say, they're coming in from out of state. And more guns on the street, more guns in the home means more gun violence. There's also a proposal to create a statewide community violence intervention program. The governor also wants to make 64 million in state budget adjustments, bolstering police, the court system, also victim services like counseling. Victims of gun violence, we want to make sure that we can comfort them. Daryl Copeland is with Ice the Beef's Waterbury Chapter, a nonprofit dedicated to violence prevention. He's on board with the governor's plans, particularly the one for intervention programs. We do need more programs that are implemented um, to keep our young people active and give them something to do. The governor also proposes making it easier for officers to ask for gun permits from someone openly carrying. Right now, officers have to suspect a crime has been committed. The Connecticut Citizens Defense League described this as a stop and frisk tactic. Also noting tens of thousands of residents became new permit holders in 2021 alone. In a statement, CCDL President Holly Sullivan said in part, the governor's proposals demonstrate that he is out of touch with the people of Connecticut and woefully disconnected from his own failed policies, which have resulted in the demand for more access to self-defense. Another of the governor's proposals would create a new state license for all gun dealers, also make domestic violence convictions an automatic disqualifier for gun permits. Live here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.